Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Bella Juicy Love. Happy Father's Day. I want to share some Father's Day cards that I made over the past week or so with all of you. And I'll try to make it quick. Um, I don't want to make it a, too long of a video. I do have six cards, so I'll try to whip right through them so you guys can get back to your barbecues and all that good stuff. So first, I'll share with you this wine label card that I made. I saw this bottle of wine maybe in January or February, and I was like, yep, I'm getting that. That is perfect for a Father's Day card, and the wine was also delicious, so it was really a win-win situation. The card came out really cute, and the wine was yummy, so perfect. Um, I just layered some scraps of paper that I had. All the papers um, from the cards that I'm going to show you today are mostly from my scraps, so... Um, I won't be telling you names and stuff unless it's something that you really need to know, but I don't think there is anything, so I'll just keep keep them pushing right along. I used my Stampin' Up! Label Punch for this. I had to print it out on the Happy Father's Day. I had to print out on my computer because I'm I'm really new to stamping, so I don't have any Happy Father's Day stamps, so printing it out worked perfectly. I used some Tim Holtz paper paper string and just wrapped it around the card and inked it up, distressed the edges with some various colors of distress ink and this is what I got, the end result. I thought it came out pretty good, especially since I've said before I'm terrible at masculine cards. And the inside, I like to decorate the inside of my cards. If not decorate, then I at least like to layer papers on the inside because that's one of my big pet peeves. You have this nice card front that is so beautiful and sturdy feeling and thick and then you sometimes just open it up and there's nothing on the inside just a plain old flimsy card base so I always like to make sure that my cards have a good sturdy feel to them especially if I'm selling them because um, I think it would be rather disappointing to me anyway to get a card that's nice and beautiful and thick on the outside and then you open it up and it's just a little flimsy piece of paper on the inside I feel like I wasn't getting my money's worth. This second card, there's really no need to decorate the inside, but I'll show you anyway. I just put a couple little pieces of paper on there, a little mini brad and a sticker. This is one of the corrugated cardboard card bases from Michaels, the five and a half by five and a half. I love these. These and they stand up so nice. They just you can load them and they they just never, they never seem to quit. I love them. I used some Paper Studio and Jilly stickers on the front and put a little leaf here. I know leaves don't have anything really to do with fishing, but the colors were perfect, so I stuck it on there. And some bling, a little Jolie's fabric hat up here. And for the distressing on this one, I was going through my inks and I found that I had two spiced marmalade distress inks from Tim Holtz and I had never used either one of them. They were both closed, so I opened them up and gave it a try on here and I love it. I really like the Rusty Hinge Distress Ink, but this Spice Marmalade is a little more, has a little more yellow to it and it's a little brighter and I loved it and I thought it was perfect for this card. And here my third card. I just took a bunch of um, scraps, cut them up into little squares, and layered it on a little piece of brown scrap paper that I had. Again, I punched this out from the printout of my computer on a little piece of craft. I had a wooden clock that was just in my stash. I got a whole, um, like 12 of these for a dollar in the kids craft section at Hobby Lobby. So, um, check that section out. I don't know if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, but sometimes the kids' craft sections, even at Walmart, they have some great finds in there. I put a little piece of ribbon, and I don't know if you can see a little piece of bling in the middle of the clock there. And then I distressed it. Um, I ran it through my Big Shot with the Tim Holtz Flourish embossing folder. Hopefully you can see that, just the top part. And then I distressed it with some just some darker browns. I used some vintage photo and walnut stain just to kind of pull the design out of the, some of the lighter color papers. And put some scraps on the inside and we'll call it done. And after making three, I was starting to get burnt out because I, like I said, I really, really struggle with 
um, masculine cards, so I enlisted the help of my friend Sandra for the last three. Um, I had the base made, and I had the banners on, and the stars, but I didn't know what to put here, so she had a little, she has a little, um, like, scrap bowl on her table that has little pieces of paper and, um, embellishments and punches that she's punched out, so I took this, um, little label thingy on the back, the black one, I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry, stamping up something, and, um, punched out a piece of very vanilla oval, and then she had a piece of vellum that she had test sprayed a spray, a spritz on, and I liked that for this card, so I took that and stamped Happy Father's Day in craft, and I actually made a mistake, I'll get it a little closer, I made a mistake and stamped the Happy Father's Day down here first, so I just took a piece of string and put it on there, and tied a little knot in it and cut it off, and then stamped again so that it hit it. I didn't want to waste that one piece, it was just perfect for what I was looking for, so... It worked out good. Sometimes the mistakes work out really well. This paper is all from the Tattered Time, um, leftover from the Die Cuts With You Tattered Time Father's Day album that I made. I think I posted a video. I think that was the last video I posted. But anyway, these are all leftovers from that. Except this. This is Seven Gypsies. And the inside, I just put a little piece of um, scratch paper and a cog that I punched out with aluminum foil, a Stampin' Up! one from Sandra's. And this next card, I copied this 100% from Sandra's card. Well, not 100%, I changed it just a little bit, but I love these. I love these punches in this die. Love those. They're Stampin' Up! Don't ask me the name of them because I could not tell you. And I don't know, I don't know if this, um, embossing folder is stamping up or not. I think it might be, but I'm not sure, so don't don't quote me on that. But anyway, I just put a piece of um pattern paper down on some gray some gray cardstock and we ran this through the embossing folder. This isn't tin foil, it's actually contact paper from Home Depot and I put it on a a piece of uh scratch paper like thin cardboard from the back of um, a paper stack or a cereal box or something something just really really thin to give it a little more a little more stability when you go put it through the big shot so that it doesn't squish down when um, after it's embossed I hope you know what I'm saying <laughs> a little tongue tied for some reason I don't know but anyway and then we put these we cut these out again and put them through I don't know if you can see each one of these little gears, the silver gears on the e on the inside has some embossing in it. So we've ran them through. They they just cut out like this, but then we put them in an embossing folder and ran them through so they could get some texture to them. I love this card. On Saunders, she put three little brads here that said Dad, and it was in um, like a typewriter like an old-fashioned typewriter font and it was it was real cute and hers she didn't have she likes brighter things so her her card base was white and she didn't have um, she didn't have any background papers she just had a bigger aluminum piece and for the inside I just put a little piece of um, scrap paper again and I saved the inside of the gears and just glued them down just to give it a little extra something something there and last but certainly not least thank you for hanging in there we're almost done um, this is a Stampin' Up! card also and thank you thank you Sondra for your help with this one um, your card that you did was beautiful and you always do a great job especially with the masculine cards so thank you for your help I could not have completed my cards without you this year. So for this we used the purse die and ran it through the Big Shot, cut off the sides so that it's it was just flat instead of having it be three dimensional and closed it with a little mini brad. Ran this circle through the Big Shot with an embossing folder and stamped this little fish in Knight of Navy and I inked in 
I don't know what color this is. It's not Stampin' Up. It's, um, it's Tim Holtz, and I can't think of the name of it. Goodness. Peeled paint. Peeled paint, distress ink. And again, punched out my little Happy Father's Day label. I punched out two on this one and cut it in half so that I can have a little extra border there. And I put a little piece of black ribbon. And this is a toothpick with some linen thread. This is just a piece of paper for the handle, a little scrap paper for the handle. And for the inside, I just, I had made a mistake on my first background stamp that I made, so I saved the paper and just used it for the inside and put a couple little um, extra punches in there. And that is it. Thank you for sticking in there with me and, and watching these cards, and I hope you all have a nice weekend and a happy Father's Day. And also, let me say that my next video, I'll be sharing this second mini album. I said that I was going to challenge myself to complete some more projects before I started any more and I'm doing really really well. I've actually completed three mini albums out of my seven or eight that I have so I'm giving myself a pat on the back right now and I'll be uploading that one a little later today and hopefully later in the week I will get some more up. But thank you. Happy Father's Day. Bye.